welcome to another video this is a quick tip it will be pretty fast this time we will create volumetric scattering and forked in red shift in cinema 40 let's jump into the project this is our basic scene setup here we have our scene object like a toy train with a floor and we have a camera and we have two lights i named it volumetric light because it will um, contribute in the volumetric effect and this will help us just to give us some ambient light in our scene so one thing we can do like if we put the value 1 in volume then it will contribute in the volumetric effect if we put the value 0 it will not so that's the one thing I need to share uh, if I go to a chip render view layout then we'll get something like this now uh, because we we don't have anything else to give us the polymetric effect first thing we have to do is to go to redshift objects rs environment so if we bring this rs environment then we will have something like we are already having something and it is emitting from our volumetric light and if we put the value zero it will go away and we have some other lights so maybe i can turn it on for off for now okay so this is our scene and this is our artist environment so first we need to put the volume it, by default it, it's on so actually for this one i put the value zero because we don't need volumetric effect from this light so we need it from this light and this is a very tiny light and if we see the parameters here i put it like 12,000 exposure one and size is like 0 0.2, 0 0.2 so if the light size is very small then um, it creates more beautiful fog and volume uh, and for this light it's like 5 by 5 and intensity is 30 and exposure is zero so it's pretty much default and uh the shape is disc and for this one the shape is also disc so let's start with uh, the light first you see these are all default and if we spread if we put some balloon spread then we, we see that the our light is being spread it so we'll put something like one five so it's spread it in all our scene and we have to do something here also scattering is a value like how much scattering we want if it is zero there will be no scattering so if we increase the scattering value then there will be scattering fog, fog in our scene so if I want to put something like point one Five, maybe uh it is too much one zero one five yeah something like that or maybe a little more zero one seven yeah and attenuation is the intensity of the um the fog or volume that we're getting so we can put it on one two and let's see how does it look like we want gi and we don't want reflection to contribute in fog so we put the value zero in that case you see uh, there is no uh, fog in our reflection if we change our light position we will get some different type of um volume but for now we will keep as we have our light position and now it's it's creating the volume but it is not as realistic we need some noise to make it much more realistic so for this we will create a material material 
standard and we don't need a uh, this match will we'll use a uh, noise and we'll put this noise into volume so that it uh, affects our volume and for this I will use wavy turbulence and overlay scale maybe 0.5 lot clip 0.2 contrast 0.25 so we have more contrast and we will um, assign this to our RS environment then we see then we have a lot of fog and it looks much more realistic we can change the contrast maybe 0 0.02 better to me mm. everything looks good to me we can always change um, for this digital check I will change the color a little bit I will go for something like this something like this and yeah i mean that's all that's that's, that's what we need so uh, this so we can create this volumetric effect and we i did an, one another thing so i use this volumetric light to create the uh, lamp post like the, the, you can also create this, this this type of lamp um so yeah Please let me know if you have any questions uh, and i will try to cover it hopefully it helps you thanks